So Flex, I mean, when I first heard that you're making a comeback at Olympia, really the question is why? You know what? After I started tuning in on my diet a little bit, uh, the Olympia happened. And just sitting there and, you know, honestly watching the, uh, the new class of the uh, men's physique, it fits for me. If you look at, you know, one of my arguably best uh, conditions ever was in 1993 uh, at the Honor Classic, my first Honor Classic. I was 214. It's truly about just not giving up. And I don't know why I, I put, you know, such uh, pressure on myself, but I, I can't pick all my fights. I've always been that person. Uh, I uh, put so much on myself, even going and having what I go through in a doctor and, you know, literally I'm, I'm damn near in tears, uh, you know, going through that. And I, I laid there and I, I even questioned, why, why do you do this? But I'm just wired that way. It's about people who can. Uh, you know, maybe they, you know, maybe you're a, a transplant patient and you're just, you can't do anything anymore. Maybe, you know, maybe you're, you're a suicide, uh, you know, person and you just don't have the will to fight. And, uh, you know, maybe you're, you were born uh, on uh, welfare or born in a ghetto or you were homeless, you know, or, or didn't have food at one time to eat. Uh, I just want to be a voice for those people. I just went through injuries my whole career that I just never talked about. Nerve damage from my back that I had in 2007 that still my, my left calf doesn't fire properly and everything like that, so. Is a career, like, is a career damaging? Like, mm. to the yeah, point where I mean, in a, in a, um, in a sport where you're down near naked up sta on stage, everything is everything revealed. Is yeah. It's just barely a year ago, I was in a hospital for a month. You know, unfortunately you have a lot of people who reach some type of stardom or success and all people see is all the glitz and the glory, but they have no idea what they went through for years before that. So it's like a disconnect. Really, I'm gonna sit there and tell you, you know, I've been sexually abused. What, what are you gonna think? You don't think I'm weak, you know? I'm, I was homeless. Or, I didn't have any money, I was born on welfare, and what, what people are gonna think about that, you know? So, you're putting on an act, you know, I used to tell the world, you know, I'm the greatest chameleon in the world, you know, because you guys have no idea of uh, who I really am, and people never understood that. Even if I won the Honor Classic and I won $100,000, I go back home and I try to kill myself with a gun, I mean, so, you know, a lot of times you just gotta keep those things to yourself. When I retired and went through a lot of things, it, it put me in positions where I, I had to just think. I went through um, 11 surgeries in nine weeks. So laying up in a hospital for over a year gives you a lot of time to just reflect. You know, and the demons come out and they hang out with you. You got nowhere to run. When I went in for my kidney transplant and when I came out, I went in at, at 2.46 and I came out at, uh, at 1.97. And flex toes. Go ahead, extend the toes. Dorsey and Evert. Good. Flex the knee. Dorsey and invert. Flex the spine. Okay, let me get all that structure. I gotta have it. Okay, can you give me a little wiggle? I gotta make okay, perfect. There we go. Extend the knee. Get the head back. When we started originally with flex, this is where we were. So we could not even barely get past this point and now we can get clear up into this area. Okay, so it's a huge difference from where we were to where we are. Extend the hip. His pain tolerance is, is incredible uh, and he's pretty gifted in regards to his stamina and be able to take the technique. So the good news is that he, he's a perfect patient for this, for this type of treatment. Chin to chest. Go on side of your and yes, that's why we did that. Yeah, I'm not crying, my side eyes is watery. That's all. It's not it's not tears. I promise. Alright. When you're coming back from an injury, one of the hardest things that you deal with is their confidence. You know, one of the great things about working with Flex is we can push him probably a little bit further than we push somebody else because he just flat out don't care. I mean he, he wants I think it's great when I hear compliments like, wow, you look like you're in your 30s. Well, yeah, I mean, here now you see the, the crap that I go through to try to be able to stay looking like this, because if I didn't, I would be looking like an average 52-year-old. All right, that's all we'll do today. Great, appreciate it, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
all my uh, shortcomings, it's all out there. Whatever these talents I was given, I, they weren't given to me to be selfish, to be you know, banging out girls and making money and all that stuff. It, it goes, money, cars, women, trophies. I, I got a joke, I don't even know where some of my Olympia medallions are, I have no idea. The money I've spent it a long time ago, but the accolade of what I've done still stands there. So that's the test of time right there, but a lot of times we're locked on what we get from it instead of you know, what it allowed us to go through. Those things are more valuable. I've been through so much, you know, you know, you can almost say I'm not even supposed to be here for a number of different reasons. Uh, probably, this is probably one of the more proudest moments that I have of even trying to, because I think before as a pure athlete, when I was younger, I took it so for granted. It's not gonna be disrespectful like it was before, like, you know, I'm God's gift to the world and, and all that stuff. Now this is, uh, you know, this is a potential big thing, bigger than me, bigger than anything we've ever done. 